In this video, we will demonstrate how to author the exact task that was shown in the Using Tasks video. We start with an open, empty task item, and we will edit this task item in Designer. Using the available tools, we will create a single new task. Let's go ahead and rename this task to Create a Building and enter the task to start creating steps. Now we could manually create each step, but instead let's use the command recorder to record our entire workflow. Let's first open the project pane because if you recall the first step was to search for the APN number which was a custom geoprocessing model. Let's run this model and retrieve the proper parcel selection. Next we want to zoom to the selected parcel, so let's go to the map tab and zoom to the selection. Now we go ahead and close the geoprocessing and the project pane and move to our next step creating an office building footprint. Let's choose office building from the create features pane and digitize our footprint. Note that this recorder is only recording the commands we use. It does not record how we use them or the information we supply to them. Our final step requires us to open the attributes pane to update the footprints attributes. And there we have it. We finished our workflow. So let's go ahead and stop recording and begin refining each step. First, there are a few steps that we recorded that we don't need, so let's go ahead and delete them. And here we have it, our final list of steps. Let's edit step one and give it some meaningful instructions. I have the text typed out on another document, which I will copy and paste over to tasks. If you'll notice, I'm selecting the word here and creating a hyperlink. We can also select text and format it with italics, underlines, and in this case, we can format it with bold. Now on to step behavior. We want this step to auto proceed, meaning that the step will wait for the user to run the command, but it will automatically proceed once the command is run. In views, we want the world view to be open and active, which it is. In contents, we will, s we will set a few settings for each of the layers. We will make sure the trees is not visible, buildings are visible, and parcels are visible and selectable. Everything else will remain unchanged. In step two, we will not need to set any detailed instructions because we want the step to be automatic and to be hidden from the user. Additionally, we want to make sure that we, what we performed in the previous step's contents is reflected in this step. Now on to step three, create features. Let's go ahead and give this step the correct name, create new building, and update the instructions and the run and proceed instructions. If you notice below, the step behaviors are disabled, and this is because the create features is, is embedded by default and contains specific behavior when embedded. Let's now filter the features by the word office, verify the views, and then let's go to contents where we will capture the settings from the previous step, but we will turn on the visibility of the imagery layer. Now on to the final step, attributes, where we will update the name to attribute new building, and update both instructions with the correct business logic for this task. Once again, the step behavior is disabled due to the default embedded nature of attributes. Finally, let's pull from contents from the previous step. So we'll go to contents and click previous step to pull the settings. And we can go ahead and close task designer and we've done it. We successfully created a task from scratch and it's ready to run. This has been a quick video on authoring tasks in ArcGIS Pro. Thank you.